Today, in this rather brief video, we will be looking at some of the cosmogenic radionuclei in natural rainwater. First, let's take a gamma spectrum of the water I collected. This was done immediately after I collected the rainwater, so that I could measure some of the shorter-lived radionuclei. I placed a bottle of the rainwater into my gamma spectrometer shielding, and used my radio code 103, which I showed in my last video, to collect a gamma spectrum for around a day. After the time was up, I was left with a relatively clean gamma spectrum. I subtracted the background radiation spectrum to show clear peaks of the radionuclei which were not present in the background spectrum. Here, we clearly see some quite large peaks. The first two, which are most likely from Bremsstrahlung, from other beta minus emitters such as tritium, are all below around 200 keV, or kilo electron volts. We also see a small peak from cesium-137, which is most likely from accumulation in the atmosphere. Second to last, we see some potassium-40, which is regular potassium-39, which has captured a neutron in the atmosphere. And finally, some daughter products from radon-222, which is also in the atmosphere. Just as an added point, here is a cycle of natural tritium in the environment. It behaves almost exactly like hydrogen, so in the case of water, as in this chart, it follows the water cycle quite closely, as it is very chemically similar. Finally, here is a list of all, or at least very nearly most, of the cosmogenic radionuclei found in the atmosphere, and some of their uses. It is way too much to cover in one video, but if you want to see more about these radionuclei, please comment down below, or email me, and I'll see what I can do. On that note, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate and value your time. This has been the third video in my mission to upload once a month, and I just barely made it this month. Before I say goodbye, I have to thank you for 1000 subscribers. I honestly didn't even think I would make it this far. A huge thank you to all my subscribers. You can expect some awesome new videos such as extracting radio potassium from bananas quite soon. Again, thank you to all my viewers and subscribers. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.